On an average Sunday morning in 2004, a magnitude 9.1 earthquake ruptured a fault line not far off the coast of northern Sumatra. If the sheer power of this rare quake wasn't enough, it also generated a tsunami that struck land with waves as high as 100 feet in some places. It was one of the worst disasters of all time, but history is unfortunately filled with others just like it. Here are the five biggest and most destructive tsunamis in all of recorded history. As you might already know, tsunamis are usually synonymous with earthquakes. Of all the earthquakes that we've experienced since record-keeping began, the most powerful happened on May 20th of 1960, just off the coast of southern Chile. Measuring as a staggering 9.5 magnitude, it shattered all records. But the true devastation was yet to come. The rupture zone alone stretched anywhere from 311 miles to 621 miles along the Chilean coast. Despite its intensity, it thankfully missed an extremely populated area, resulting in far less loss of life than could have happened. The biggest threat was not the earthquake, though, but the 95-foot tsunami that it generated. Villages and communities all along the South American coast felt the impact. Even scarier is that it is said that Hawaii, which is thousands of miles away, was hit with waves as high as 30 feet in some areas. Once there, it destroyed villages and was responsible for 61 deaths. Alaska, Japan, and the Philippines also reported the tsunami. Now, This tsunami was significant not just because it was from the most powerful earthquake ever, but because it was the first recorded global tsunami. Never before had anyone witnessed a tsunami that crossed an entire ocean in only a few hours and caused damage in another country. This allowed researchers to begin studying this event, hoping to help them better understand the unimaginable power of our planet. Within a pretty heavily populated area of the Pacific Ocean lies the Ring of Fire, a ring of volcanoes scattered about along the Pacific tectonic plate. Many countries are located nearby, including Indonesia, leading to constant volcanic activity and occasionally severe earthquakes and tsunamis. One of these volcanoes is located in Indonesia on the island of Krakatoa. In 1883, the volcano erupted with such force that the sound was heard over 1,900 miles away in Australia. But the eruption soon became the least of everyone's concern, because when it erupted, it sent a mass of land crashing into the ocean which generated a giant 120-foot tsunami wave. This wave rushed through the Sunda Strait, striking 295 towns throughout western Java and southern Sumatra. Tragically, a total of 36,417 people perished in this area as a result of the wave. Smaller tsunamis were recorded throughout the Pacific countries, including New Zealand, Chile, and even Mexico. Although the death toll was high, it could have been much worse. The wave was tall, but because it was a tsunami that was generated by a volcano instead of an earthquake, there wasn't nearly as much power behind it. Therefore, almost all of the deaths from this wave were confined to this area of Indonesia and not in other countries. Hopefully, if something like this were to happen again, modern communications would allow us to warn those in harm's way, preventing such unimaginable destruction. Around 5.20 a.m. local time on December 28th of 1908, a massive earthquake struck underneath the Strait of Messina, the body of water which separates the island of Sicily from the province of Calabria. It caught everyone off guard, especially when considering everyone would likely have been asleep at that time. Shaking the seafloor for 20 seconds as a 7.5 magnitude quake, it generated waves that were over 40 feet high. Cities, towns, and settlements all across the coasts of Sicily and southern Calabria were destroyed, 
including Reggio di Calabria, which was the formal capital of the Calabria region, and Messina, the major port town for the island of Sicily. The quake was the most powerful to occur in the history of Europe. After everything was said and done, more than 80,000 people had lost their lives, and hundreds of thousands more were left homeless. Experts long believed that the tsunami was caused by seafloor displacement that was caused by the earthquake. However, later research suggested that an underwater landslide may have actually been the culprit. Now, there are many seismically active places on Earth, but Japan is without a doubt one of the worst. Throughout history, there have been many notable quakes to occur here, but none really as bad as the one that they had back in 2011. On March 11th of that year, a magnitude 9.0 earthquake struck off the coast of the Tohoku region. The quake itself was rather devastating, causing a fair amount of destruction. However, the worst was yet to come. A few minutes after the earthquake passed, people looked out into the ocean to a terrifying sight. The water had receded, and what resembled a tsunami was heading straight for them. The wave hit land with a height of 132 feet in some places. It washed away houses, vehicles, buildings, boats, and anything else in its path. After the water subsided, over 15,500 people lost their lives, and an additional 450,000 were left homeless. Infrastructure was so badly damaged that some said the town's worst hit would never recover. The worst damage took place at the nearby Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. When the wave came in, it did so much damage that the reactor suffered a level 7 meltdown, one of only two in history. The other level 7 meltdown was Chernobyl in 1986. The radiation levels are still high in the region, and it looks as if it will be years more before people will be able to settle the area again. The devastating force of this tsunami really can't be accurately represented. Images of the aftermath give you an idea of just how hard it is to comprehend. Over 120,000 buildings totally collapsed, with another almost 1 million either half collapsing or partially collapsing. In the end, the World Bank estimated the total cost of this event to be 235 billion making it the costliest natural disaster in recorded history. Sunday, December 26th of 2004 is the date of possibly the worst natural disaster to happen in all of recorded history. It all began when a magnitude 9.1 to 9.3 quake struck off the coast of Sumatra. This undersea megathrust earthquake occurred along the fault line between the Burma Plate and the Indian Plate. To date, it ranks among the strongest earthquakes to ever be felt on Earth. Displacement of the Earth caused the sea level above the epicenter to rise nearly 20 to 30 feet in a matter of seconds. This was the cause of the series of tsunamis that rocked countries along the Indian Ocean. Due to how deep the area was, the waves at first didn't look that big. It wasn't until it reached shallow water where the true size could be observed. Waves hit land, measuring at around 100 feet tall in some places, meaning anything in its path was basically doomed. The waves struck 14 different countries, leaving entire cities in ruins. The waves reached so far inland and pulled so much debris back out to sea that the actual death toll was impossible to determine. But the estimated number of lives lost between the 14 countries is roughly 228,000. The earthquake was not only the third largest earthquake ever recorded, it also had the longest duration of faulting ever observed, with fierce shaking that lasted between 8 and 10 minutes. The power of the earthquake was enough to alter the Earth's rotation, shortening the length of a day by 2.68 microseconds. Although it may seem like a minuscule thing, something with enough power to alter the Earth itself is definitely something to be taken seriously. As far as the tsunami, it is still to this day the single worst tsunami in history. 
To put things into perspective, the tsunami was directly attributed to one fatality at Ruiels near Cape Town, South Africa. Ruiels is 5,000 miles away from where the earthquake occurred. Well, that's all we have for you today. But if you want to see another video just like this one, then be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time.